I'm Margaret Gustafson, and for my MYP project, I'm making a school equestrian team. One of the key parts to starting a team at North Atlanta High School is the people that you need to join. Usually, you only need four people to be a part of a team, but sometimes you can have more or less depending on the team you're making. For my project, I got a lot of my friends from my lacrosse team to help me out. We're all going to ride together. For your team, you'll also need a coach or a teacher to help you out and present your project to the school. For my project, I had Mr. Regan, our video teacher and lacrosse coach, present to the school about our idea and he helped me create the team as well as finding many contacts that will be beneficial to our group. Hi, my name is Casey Gentry and I ride quarter horses at the walk trot and I'm learning to canter. Okay, I'm Jay, I ride thoroughbred at the walk trot and I'm learning to canter. Hi, I'm Lindsay Lees. I'm a part of the North Atlanta High School equestrian team. I ride at walk, trot, and canter, and I'm learning the cross rails. I'm Kate Massey. I ride a Belgian quarter horse, Clydesdale mix, and I ride at the walk, trot, canter, and I jump. I'm Tata Silesk. I ride a thoroughbred at the walk and trot. One of the first steps to starting a school team is having interest and having passion for something. For me, that's horseback riding. I love to ride horses and spend my time out at the barn with all my friends and all my horses. To me, it's so much fun to be out by myself, just me and my horse, and clear my mind. I used this passion to help other people that also share the same interests as me. I started an equestrian team for North Atlanta High School. In order to have a successful equestrian team, you also need to have a barn and a trainer. To find a barn, you can Google many different openings at barns that are looking for teams to ride there. You can also just find barns and contact them and ask if they have any lesson horses that they are willing to let us use for our riding team. Usually, to have a coach, you'll just use the same coach that works at the barn full time. For my team, we will be riding at Polo Bear's Farm, and our trainer will be John Quill. We have also looked at multiple other barns, but this one has served the best potential because it is only 15 minutes away from school, which allows us with easy access and good transportation options. John Quill has 
about four horses at the barn that we are allowed to use. She also has horses up in Alpharetta that she can trailer down for our use if need be. The second step to making a team for your school is having an interest meeting. Interest meetings provide information for people that are interested but not committed to the team. In this meeting, you can tell your potential teammates what the year is going to be like, what the team is for, and how you're going to spend your time. Parents are also allowed to come to these meetings to hear about what their child wants to do. You can easily hold one of these meetings after school, during advisement, or before school at any time. interesting thing about having a high school equestrian team is being a part of IEA, which stands for International Equestrian Association. In this association, classes are offered in four ability levels, beginner, novice, intermediate, and open. Any combination of ability levels on a team is permissible, but it is advantageous to have at least one rider in every class to be as competitive as a team. Teams take turn hosting horse shows through the season. New teams are not required to host any shows. Second year teams are required to co-host at least one show, and teams in their third year or additional years must host one show or co-host two shows per year. The competition season starts September 1st and ends at the national finals in late spring or early summer. In this association, students ride horses that are furnished by the host barn and chosen by random draw. The use of personal tack is not allowed and limited schooling is permitted. This equalizes competition variables and tests the horsemanship of the contestants. Interscholastic Equestrian Association was established as I see it for three main reasons. The first reason is to give recognition to students who participate in equestrian sports. The second reason is to prepare students for college riding, to teach them how to ride in the draw-based format that they would use in intercollegiate programs. The third reason is to make it more accessible so that the obligation of or financial burden of owning a horse does not keep anyone from getting involved in the sport. The Interscholastic Equestrian Association offers opportunities for riders in 6th grade through 12th grade of all riding ability levels and in three different disciplines, hunt seat, western, and saddle seat. The IEA is a great way to get involved in equestrian athletics.
So this has been my MIP project on how to start an equestrian team, and now North Atlanta High School has its own equestrian team, and we are the first APS school to have one. So thanks for watching.